I'm Kirsty Meakin from Nail Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a fill on a different type of nail that you might think is a little bit awkward. When you're working on a nail that already has a design laid in, some people think, well, how am I going to fill that? Because it's, you know, it's quite close up here. And I'm going to show you how you would fill a nail that already has design encapsulated. I'm going to do the usual pushing the cuticles back. So I'm going to remove any non-living tissue from the nail plate. And there's quite a bit. And then I'm going to start to just blend that edge and it doesn't need a lot of blending because when we originally did these nails we kept everything nice and flush towards the cuticle so that's going to reduce any lifting or bulk so it'll help you when you maintain the nails. And then I'm going to make sure I've gone right to the cuticle and just remove that surface shine. I'm just going to wipe over with some acetone so I can dehydrate it and look at the same time that we've removed all the surface shine. We're going to prep now with the dehydrator. Straight around that cuticle, you don't need to put it on the extension so any of the acrylic you don't need to put that same again acid free primer you just put that on the natural nail and i'm going to do two coats of that i'm going to let the first layer dry and then go with the second layer so you can see we still have the pattern coming all the way up to the side I've not removed any of that with the filing because I was very gentle. I made sure I was nice and close to it, but I didn't eat in to the design. Now we can even still keep the artwork on top as well. What I'm going to do with the liquid is I'm just going to touch the acrylic that's already there a little bit and wet that. That'll help everything to adhere together. Now I've got a small bead that we're going to use to fill that back section. Still tipping the finger down. Just like you would do if you were doing a full set, you've got to tip that finger down so it's falling away from the cuticle. And you don't need a big bead because you're not dragging it all over the design. You're just rebalancing the apex that's in the back third of the nail and remaining, making sure it remains its strength. Then we're going to let that set and then we're going to file it a bit but we're only going to buff slightly over the top of this design. So now we're going to file this. So I'm going to do the side walls. You know, make sure that that fill hasn't interfered with the side walls. Make sure the nail hasn't started to naturally grow down. If it has, you're going to straighten that up. And then I'm going to do the cuticle. You can see as I'm filing, I'm really just filing that section at the back. I'm going to do the free edge. Make sure that's nice and neat still. Because with wear, it will sort of go a bit more round. It'll round itself off just from daily wear. Of course, Faye does a lot with these nails. I'm going to blend the back nicely with the block. So it's nice and flush. Not putting much pressure anywhere else at the minute. Just at that back third that we filled. And then here, I'm just going to gently buff over that surface. Imagine you're just removing the surface shine from that nail extension. If you buff too much, you're going to remove the pattern. I'm going to wipe over, now I've buffed it, with 
some acetone. Clean all that up. And then I'm gonna freshen up just here and add a little, make it a little bit longer. So you've got a bit of a longer pattern running through. All this is still intact. And we're gonna add some more just with some white paint like we did before. And then just a few dots and then that artwork is completely done. And then I'm going to seal that with our new top coat, which is Urban Graffiti Top Coat. It's a soft gel, so you can use this over the top of the gel polishes as well. So I'm just going to seal the whole nail. Make sure you cap the edge as well. That'll make everything last a little bit longer. Here's an idea for you. What you could do is you could file off the little white lines and you could add a different colour to it. You could add, say, black little squiggles or anything like that just to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to finish this nail with cuticle oil. Rub that in all the way around the nail and finger. And there you are, it's done. And it still looks as good now as it did the day we did it. There you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget all the products we've used today are in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.